What's going on guys, Rafi right here today and uh, we're doing another project today. We're actually installing a bar leg on the truck. They're gonna be the ones that can be used for braking, reverse, and a bunch of different other stuff. So I'm gonna do in a hard wire on them so they actually don't stick out and be plugged into the uh, trailer hitch, the four pin connector. But um, let's go, you know what to do. If you like this content, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe and follow me on social media. So with that said, let's get on with the uh, project. All right, so this is the strip light that I will be installing today. It's a single LED that it works with the reverse, the braking, and the signal lighting. I kind of mapping it out already at the bottom part right here. And I'm gonna have to run those wires through the side right here. Hopefully they are pretty good and they fit through there so I can send them to the back uh, and attach them to the back trailer. Because normally they will go attach right over there Right over here but i don't want them to be sticking out like that so what i'm going to be doing is actually just hard wiring them to the wires of the trailer right here so that way it'll be good and it looks professional so let's get on with it all right so for today what we're going to be using is some hinge shrinking wire wraps zip types these are the uh, shrink ripping wraps some of the uh, core covers a hitchy gun some alcohol wipes and then some of these tabs are here to connect the cables so when we splice them they'll do a very good job and then once i do that i'll be able to cover them up and then hit shrink it as well so it'll be waterproof so this is all the stuff that i'm going to be using today to do the wires in the back what i'm trying to do is actually put all these cables through this cover right here so that way I'd be able to um, cover them up, hopefully, and then insert them through there. So we're to a hole right here so they can be nice and neat. Try to see if this works. If not, I'll try another route. I'm trying to cover the cable so they don't get messed up. All right, so now we have all the wires through here. All right, so what I'll be trying to doing is try to see if I can get this somewhere through here, maybe through this hole right here, um, or if I can put the cables through a different hole which i don't think i see in any other hole but probably that might be the best option we'll see all right i will try to remove this screw and this screw so i can get the headlight out and i might be able to reach and get those cables out of there so they can be routed down now to the truck let's see eight millimeters is what you'll need to remove these bolts right here so put it in Get them out. Get those out. We can get this out of here. Slowly. Stick out. We're gonna disconnect the light. There we go. The light comes out. For a while. I'm trying to see if I can grab those cables. And I, yeah, I can see it right here. I can put it back up a little bit. I can see that. All right, so now that I routed the cable through here, coming out of here, and then going inside right here, I should be able to now start applying the adhesive on the bar light right over here. So that way I'll be able to run it all the way down and then work on the cabling system and kind of covering this part right here. 
So let's continue with the uh, installation. All right, so here is the connector for the 30, for the four pin connector that comes factory right here, which is actually attached right over here. So what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna get this green, yellow, brown, and white and connect it to the cables that I brought down right over here so we can pair them up. And then from there, we'll be able to get the signal. Now I do have the red cable, which is up there. And now it's gonna be connected to the reverse. So I'm trying to splice this right here and kind of attach them to those. And then let's see if they can actually go and work out. All right, so what we did is actually uh, from this part right here, uh, peel that cover that was right here. And then I went all the way up here so I can actually get uh, more cables. And then the cable that I'm running, you know, this is actually cover. Then I attach it with this clamps right here, which is kind of the easiest way to do it. We have one coming in straight and then the other one kind of clamps into here. And then I attach color by color. And the white one, I attach it to this black and white, which is kind of your ground. And then all I'm going to do is actually cover all this up nice and neat. And then put some other straps right here so I can attach this to here that won't interfere with anything and then what i got is actually the reverse wire that was coming down here i went and routed back up so i can attach it to the light here's where the fuse is at so i actually got i'm going to cover this as well right here and then i'm going to show you right up there but so far this is what we've done and like I said, I'm going to put a lot of electrical tape here and make sure that it's all covered nice and neat. It should be able to get it set up. All right, guys. So we finished installing everything. As you can see right here, we have everything covered up. Coming all the way from the top right over here. Everything's nice and covered with that plastic cover that I use also for the uh, motor. Covering all those cables. And also everything here is covered up all the way and tight all the way back this here has some heat shrink um, plastic thing in the inside making sure that all the cables are you know water resistant some type waterproof so there's a lot of heat shrink uh, inside right here on top of that I did extra taping this is also electrical tape and I make sure that everything is covered up very nice and tidy and neat right down here along with the uh, top part over here like I mentioned before so all this is tight running all the way to the other end and then going up to the light and like I said right here I wasn't able to cover the video of actually attaching the red cable to the light it was corrupted I don't know what happened but this is the cable coming down and I was able to also cover it so it doesn't uh, get tangled with any metals or anything like that it's all covered up as well and then going up and then this is where it comes down and here's also the fuse that i showed you guys before that i also cover up with the uh, heat shrink uh cabling and then also we an, an additional electrical tape and the cover that i mentioned before here so everything's nice and tight and that should be the installation let's see and then again uh, the reason why I wanted to do this right here is because I wanted to make the connection in this side and not be able to show that I'm actually using something on the other side to plug it in. So I wanted to, I wanted to do a clean stall from the back. That way no one can see it uh, and it doesn't look awkward on the other side. And then the other thing also is uh, just in case if I want to uh, hold something I can actually open this right here and still use the four pin connector right here That way uh, I can hold a you know a trailer Whatever that might be I can still use it by plugging it in and then that thing is not taking up You know the space right here. So that's the main reason why they did a hard wire in All right guys, so you got to see here the light This is how to turn on They actually kind of hidden in the back right here so when you look at it through here, you don't see them straight down. Well, when you turn, click the button, they are actually a little bit, it's a little bit higher and they're covered with that cable. So they go all the way down straight 
to that down there so all the way over there Alright, so the other thing, something that happens when you put those lights in is when you turn on your car, the truck, it will automatically detect that you have a trailer connected there. I find it to be extremely cool because having that trailer connected, the car, the truck, I'm sorry, will do this automatically. It will automatically turn off the automatic start and stop right here. So it thinks that you have a trailer, and therefore turning this off. So you don't have to worry about clicking it and turning it off. Now, from time to time, it does go back to on and it will turn off the truck. But most of the time, it will automatically keep it in the off position, even though it is not off, just like this. For some reason, when I turn on the truck, it thinks that I have a trailer, it automatically will turn it off. So I like that because I hate coming into the truck and having to at all the time click on it, click on it, it, click on it to turn it off. So that was a plus. Just wanted to share that and point it out for you guys, just in case you guys come into that situation. Uh, to don't be alarmed. That that's definitely what's going to happen. Apparently, there are some sensors back there that will trigger that you have a trailer connected to it. But I like it. I like that feature. Some people may not like it. Well, that was it guys, the installation of the bar light for this Ford Maverick. I will put any link in the description down below. Remember, if you like this video and you find it helpful, click the like and subscribe. You can also go back and watch my other videos in this playlist. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Rafi Red, signing out.